you had uh, Virginia playing on their stage a lot for keep our memory fresh. So, yeah. What kind of progress does this show for you guys? Um, great progress, you know, uh, just to get past from last week, taking an L and get a W now. But I mean, you know, it's ACC ball. Uh, I was looking forward to the Big Ten now from Chattanooga. Is there anything specifically you remember about the trip home from Charlottesville that would like paint how far you guys have come oh, over the last year? I was at home. Oh, that's I, right, I, you I, were, I, weren't you? But yeah. I was watching it from the, I was watching it with my mom. And I was like, dang, man, like, you know, I was upset. And then when I saw this, when the schedule came out and I saw they were on there, I was like, oh, yeah, like, this is it. You know, so. <laughs> So Brandon Armstrong, he's known for a guy that can take off. Yeah. But, uh, what was the key to containing them? Um, just crush rush, keep keep them in the pocket. You know, he shook me a few times. He's a great ball player. Just crush rush, keep them in there, and I thought we did a pretty pretty good job doing that. You were pretty frustrated walking off the field in Indiana last week. Yeah. Uh, what what did you guys do over the last eight days <clears throat> to flip that switch as quickly as you did? Uh, put the game behind us. Um, you know, you know, we could have did about it. You know, so just on to the next week. Um, great practice, uh, just getting better every day, and just put our eyes on Virginia. Armstrong had 400 yards last year, less than 200 this year. What statement did Illinois' defense make today? Um, I mean, I really don't think it's a statement. That's just, you know, that's the football that we play, honestly. Um, when, when everybody's doing their job uh, at the best of their ability, that's just how we play. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, you know, it's an ACC team, you know, you know, I got to keep building, take it to Chattanooga and take it to the Big Ten. So. You guys had five sacks, nine tackles for loss. Just what was clicking on defense? Um, yeah, I just feel like people just had uh, have Virginia on their mind throughout this whole week. You know, Coach B did a good job. You know, reminding us, you know, about what happened last year. So yeah, it's, uh, and also Coach Walt, you know, did a great job putting us in the best positions for us to be successful. So. Now going into a bye week, just what are you focusing on? What do you think your team is focusing on with one week off? Um, naps, food. More naps. Uh, no, nah, just uh, you know, just get a head start on Chattanooga. Um, recovering, recovering. You know, hydrating. So you know, I feel that's a big thing going on going into this bye week. What is Gabe back in shows? Man, this, that kid right there. The funny thing is, so when he first got here, me and him would go work out. You know, um, we go in the indoor work. I'm like, man, this kid's got some. You know, we work on some moves. Not saying no sacks because of me, but you know, we work on some moves. I'm like, man, this this kid's good. This kid's good. You know, and we go on the fall camp. Oh, yeah, he's going to be a ball player. He's really, really good. And I'm so excited for his future. See a lot of freshmen built like him? I mean, I was built like him when I was a freshman, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> not, you know. <laughs> I mean, you talk about that passing in the end It seemed like Coach Bielma made a point to bring up what Virginia did last yeah. year. Was that effective motivation? I mean, yeah, it was, it was motivation. But at the end of the day, like, you know, it's, it's football. It's what we do, you know, um, just so – Going in to play defense, that's, this is what we do. So, like, it's just no team on the schedule, honestly. But, yeah, we had, you know, we had a wood chip on our shoulder. Do you, you, and, you and Johnny have a friendly uh, rivalry? Together? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. I even want to hear this. So, after the end of the game, you know, he he's a monster, right? Friendly competition. So, I'm like, oh, man, okay, Johnny. All right, okay. So, I'll, on the bus ride home, I'll, you know, I'm like, man, Johnny was balling. Watch this film, and I'm ask him, which I'm like, on this, like, what do you do for this, what do you do for that, da da da. And this whole week, I'm like, all right, like, it's my turn now. But, <laughs> you know, and, uh, but, you know, Johnny, man, we push Shelly be great every day. In the whole D line room, for Shelly be great every day. And, you know, just a straight love and brotherhood connection in that room. One for 16 on third down, one for four. Mark down, I think they one third down conversion was a penalty late. Just what pride do you take in that as D line? Um, a lot of pride. As a D-line, a lot of pride. Uh, Coach Jamal does a great job, you know, enforcing that in us. Um, so, yeah, like we, you know, Coach Jamal threw us. Actually, at the end of the game, when we were up 16, 17 points, two minutes left, I told Coach, hey, like, we're on the goal line, like, put us in. Like, we don't want to the score. We take pride in that, you know, like, we take that serious. You know, that's that's our culture. That's our creed. So. How gratifying was it to be able to do that at the end of that fourth quarter? Oh, uh, it was great, man. It was it was great. Uh, something I'll never forget, honestly. You know, I remember, uh, you know, they were moving the ball, moving the ball on the end zone. I, I was like, hold on, because I left my helmet all the way down the other end. I'm thinking we're done. I'm like, oh, there you are. I took up sprint, grab my helmet. Go, go, come on, come on. So come on, put me in here. You know, he did. I didn't make an attack on one play, and we stopped him. So, you know, I just – and for our defense to not break, not let them in the end zone, you know, I'm just so excited, so proud of, proud of you know, the 32 squad. For the first 